So incoming is the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament in Dragon Ball Super, in particular the manga. The anime is probably going to have a while before it reaches this particular point. But I want to talk about some of the things that I want to see and some of the contestants that I want from this arc. To be honest, I'm hoping that Dragon Ball Super, if it keeps on getting the awesome ratings that it's been getting, gets even further extended because the Universe 6 and 7 arc right now has me just really fucking excited. Especially the fact that there's so many other universes out there, there's just infinite possibilities right now. But the fact that they're basically twins of each other, there's definitely some really interesting stuff that can be done for starters one of the things that I want to talk about is the actual contestants now to be honest I definitely see Goku going I definitely see Vegeta going because remember there's going to be five on five and they're going to have one v ones for this actual little tournament between Beerus and Shampa and I don't think Beerus and Shampa are going to actually participate in the actual tournament it's just going to be the people that they select so Goku and Vegeta will probably be two of the contestants so we have Goku we have Vegeta and I'm talking about from universe 7 our universe another contestant I'm guessing could be Gohan because they got to get the strongest of the strong if they want to win. So Gohan, hopefully he puts down his fucking books and shit and he says, all right, you know, Videl, you're filthy rich. People got to take care of you. I need to go to this tournament. There's a possibility it won't happen, but I'll get to that in a second. So Goku, Vegeta, Gohan. I mean, you got to bring out the big guns regardless of what, like everybody. Oh, I don't want just Saiyans, but you got to bring the big dogs. So Goku, Vegeta, Gohan. I see Piccolo going as well. Now the fifth contestant is something that has me a little bit interested because I don't really know who would actually be the perfect person to fit that. There's a possibility of if the tournament matches are like no more than 30 minutes, maybe Goten and Trunks will enter as Gotenks. That would be something interesting, although if they split beforehand, then ultimately they'll get disqualified and eliminated. So that's possibility another one could be tn can be kind of cool yamcha l o fucking l get the fuck out of here they bring yamcha i'm gonna call bullshit like get him out of here drag him out master roshi i mean he did some epic shit of resurrection f but that would be a horrible decision but what would be hilarious and for whatever reason if it did happen i could possibly see it actually happening because i see super pushing this character a lot maybe mr satan will actually be the fifth contestant that'd be funny as fuck you have three super saiyans you have a fucking strong ass namekian and then mr satan that would be a riot and then from the actual other universe some of the contestants i could see because i definitely think that they're gonna have maybe some original characters but i could see the twin brother or twin sister because you never know it could be a sister of goku i could see it being a twin brother i could see it being straight up kakarot if he never got his head bumped on earth or whatnot kakarot i think it'd be more epic and honestly i would prefer it to be a sister version of vegeta imagine a female vegeta epic as fuck i would love that so it could be a brother or a sister for vegeta i mean he already has tarble so and goku already had raddus but it's a little bit different with goku like if it's like a female vegeta that would be sick as fuck another one i could definitely see is if kakarot in universe 6 you know ravaged earth because we know up until this point that earth pretty much still exists but it's been wiped out because of a big war that they had on there so there's still a possibility there could be some humans left there or whatever and honestly i definitely think it was kakarot that achieved his goal and his mission and destroyed everybody on there and killed mostly everyone on that actual planet another one could be goku or i guess i should say kakarot's son on universe 6 which basically it wouldn't be gohan because if he never met chi chi never had it could be something else a completely different character which would be epic as fuck actually having a gohan S type of character but that's actually badass because we know what happened to our gohan our gohan ain't the one that we love anymore so maybe have something like kakaroto or some shit i don't fucking know just think for a second right maybe kakarot's son on that actual universe or in that actual universe a fourth one it could be maybe one of shampa's people like entrusted warrior and then the fifth one broly please incorporate broly in this bitch pretty fucking please that would be epic as fuck and then i was thinking a little bit because this is Sounding very reminiscent to the multiverse, I'm not gonna lie. If you haven't read the multiverse, it's a really awesome fanfic, and I definitely recommend checking it out because it's one of the best fanfics I've ever read, and I've read quite a few fanfics out there, but, like, it's really fucking good and has a lot of pages in color as well. So I was thinking either after the tournament or during the tournament, I definitely want them to actually explore universe 6 i want them to be able to go and i want to see the setting of universe 6 see if there's actually a planet of vegeta still there see what earth is like maybe some of the people still survive like i honestly think if it's yeah and again i know i'm thinking about multiverse if you read multiverse you know what i'm talking about possibly some people are still left on earth maybe krillin is still around there you know uh old at this particular point something again multiverse references i could definitely see something like that happening and some scattered people like maybe yamcha on that earth is still alive or whatever but he's just 
crusty as ever. I mean, Yamcha doesn't change no matter universe one through whatever. He's still going to be Yamcha, just saying. But I would like for that to happen. And I think one of the awesome ways to do that would be if we switch during the tournament or after the tournament. Maybe Broly might go insane and fuck everything up and they have to go back to their respective universes. But then ultimately, the universe six people accidentally go to the universe seven people's place and vice versa, which is why I would think that, to be honest with you, I don't think necessarily Gohan should go to the actual tournament simply because we need people on earth if that was to happen which would be epic as fuck to defend earth so leave gohan leave goten and trunks and some of the still credible protagonists android 18 and everything to defend earth if these people from universe 6 actually came over and then have the people from the universe 7 go to universe 6 and maybe fight some of the foes that they've already fought but they're different forms maybe majin buu is around there and they have to fight him again and he's way stronger maybe frieza maybe cell like there's so many possibilities or maybe who knows Frieza could possibly be a part of that, you know, five-man thing. Maybe the Frieza from Universe 6 and Shampa has him unlocked. Like, there are so many possibilities. And also, it's seemingly confirmed in this one that Beerus is definitely a lot stronger than Shampa. I mean, I already suspected much because Shampa was sneaking around and kind of like, you know, a little scared to get caught by Beerus or whatnot. But I definitely think that Beerus is stronger than Shampa because he was like, you want to fight me? Are you serious? And the fact that he was like, no, 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 let's do a tournament and we pick people. Yeah. Beerus is stronger than Shampa. And the fact that it's a trade of Earths basically all for food, it's fucking hilarious. Still keeping in the Dragon Ball comedy in there. Like, hey, I just want some food from fucking Earth, so trade me your Earth. And it's like, yeah, that's funny as shit. And at the same time, there could be so much epicness. I can't wait either way. Let me know what you guys think, though. What do you want from the Universe 6 arc? What do you want to see? Which characters do you want to see as far as, like, the twins of our favorite characters? And do you think there's a possibility we could have, like, the Universe 6 people come over to Universe 7 and fuck around and, like, Gohan and all the people that are left on our universe? and whatnot have to fight them off also vice versa what do you think about them going to universe six you know our people and having to fight like maybe past foes or whatever that are still remaining around there i mean it could be epic as fuck and again that those big dragon balls are going to be involved so there's a possibility that they'd have to go to universe six to get those dragon balls so many endless possibilities and just your overall expectations of this i'm really hoping that this is the best arc in dragon ball super and also probably one of the best dragon ball arcs in general like if they do this right if they execute it right this could be amazing your overall thoughts but that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be amazing. I'm from the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.